Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Amanda and in this video I'm going to review a ton of reusable plastic bag options for hiking and camping. I really wanted to reduce my consumption of single-use plastic and so I went on the hunt for the perfect bag that I could use for my hiking snacks and that I could use for leftover food when I'm out camping. And so I've tried a ton of options and I'm going to share with you what I like and what I don't like. Just to be clear, this video is not sponsored. None of these things were gifted to me. I went out and purchased all these things on my own and so I'm just going to share with you what I like. First up we have stasher bags and they come in all different colors and sizes. I have two of the sizes here but I think there's at least a few other sizes that you can choose from and in this one I have some homemade protein bars. Stasher bags are made with pure platinum silicone. They are good to use in the freezer, in the microwave, in the oven, up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and in boiling water so they're very versatile and they're 100% plastic free. I started off by buying one stasher bag and then I quickly realized I needed more <laughs> so I have more of these than I'd care to admit I love them and they're by far the thing that I reach for the most when I'm at home the main con that I have with these is they're not gonna be great for liquids so if you do have something that is liquid we'll talk about some other options but if you have some leftover air in them and press they will kind of pop open so when we're talking about hiking if they're in your pack which is kind of shifting or getting you know tossed down as you're taking a break or whatever you don't want things to fall out so that's kind of the only slight con that I have with these but like I said I use these the most when I'm at home and I love 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 these for car camping so if you cook a lot when you're out car camping like I do and you have any leftovers these are so great for taking leftovers home or if you open some cheese and you don't eat it all you can throw it in the stasher so so these are my favorite for car camping, but for hiking, we're gonna talk about some other options. Next up, we have these silicone bags from Home Lux Theory that I found on Amazon. It seems like you can get this basically same thing in like a ton of different brands. So the one that I bought are Home Lux, and I actually will link to all of these things in the description box below if you wanna check any of them out. But this one's kinda of cool because it has some measurements on the top, and it is really great for liquid. It has this plastic piece on the top that you have to slide on and off and it is pure silicone so it has a lot of the benefits of the stasher but this additional plastic piece here can really seal in if you need a reusable bag for liquids. Now I'll be honest with you I don't really reach for these that much. I much prefer the stashers and I don't typically store a lot of liquid things and so I don't use these as much but they do come in really big sizes. They stand up. If you do need to store some liquids these might be a great option but when it comes to camping and hiking I find Find that I don't really use those that much. The next brand that I want to talk about is Bumpkins, which are these up here. <laughs> now I think these are definitely marketed for parents <laughs> and their kids because they come in all sorts of cool patterns and colors and they're just really really fun but I love them. I don't have any kids but I use them all the time. These are a little bit different than the other silicone ones. These are a waterproof fabric with a zipper closure so they're not going to be airtight or good for liquids but they're really good for trail mixes, nuts, granolas, energy bites, crackers, which is what I have in this one. And then the all fabric ones like this one are actually dishwasher safe and machine washable, which is really cool. These are also really good for like any sort of electronics. I like that you can see through the front of a lot of these so you know exactly what you're grabbing. And I love these for hiking because you know when you put them in your pack, they're not gonna accidentally open up and spill things everywhere because of that zipper closure. Next up, we have a brand called ReZip, which are these guys right here. These are made with 100% PIVA and they're lead free and BPA free. Now PIVA stands for polyethyl vinyl acetate. Polyethylene vinyl acetate. Piva is technically a plastic, so these are not going to be a plastic-free option, but they are reusable, and I have to say, I really, really like them. They come in several different sizes, like I'm showing you here. There's even a bigger one, and they have a really nice seal. Like, I'm pretty satisfied with this seal. I've had some of these for probably almost two years now, and they still seal up really, really well. So I like these, and these are not gonna open up in your pack, and they're a really great option for hiking. They definitely have a stronger seal than the stasher bags that we talked about earlier, and they're lightweight, which also makes them really great for hiking. That being said, I do suspect that the stasher bags will definitely outlast these bags, but I've had them both for about the same amount of time, and they're both still holding up pretty good, so the jury's still out on that one. Okay, and then the last option that I wanna talk about are a brand called Lunchkins, 
Bones, and they have a reusable bag, which is a waterproof fabric similar to the Bumpkins, but this is a Velcro seal. These are really great for the same thing as the Bumpkins, any sort of like granola, trail mix, energy bars, kind of more dried things. It's obviously not gonna work for liquid. I use the Bumpkins a lot more than this, but it's just another option. While we're talking about lunch skins, I wanna quickly mention these paper sandwich bags that they make. Now, these are obviously not reusable, but I wanted to throw them in here because there are some situations that I encounter where I love to cook and bake, for example. And so I make a lot of granola or cookies that I wanna to give to other people or share with friends on the trail. And so you can put them in these paper bags and then give things away and not have to worry about trying to track down your reusable bags from your friends or family members. So I wanted to just mention these here because I didn't really know that they were an option for the longest time and I was trying to find something to kind of fit that scenario. And so since we're talking about all this stuff, I wanted to mention those. Okay, so there we go. We've talked through all of the reusable bag options that I have tried. And before you go, I just wanna give you my top picks for camping and for hiking. So for car camping, like I said earlier in the video, the stasher bags definitely win. When you go camping and you're packing your cooler, just throw a few of these in with the rest of your food to use for leftovers or things that you open and don't finish. They're just so great to have on hand. And I honestly use these all the time when I'm at home. So these are kind of my number one all around pick. If you're using liquids, of course, these are not gonna be the best option and the home locks are probably the best. Now for hiking, I've thought about this a lot and I have to say the Rezip and the Bumpkins are my top picks and they're good for different reasons. So the Bumpkins are obviously not gonna work for things that are kind of wet, whereas these would be great for things that have like a little bit more moisture or for even collecting your garbage when you're out day hiking and you open up stuff, you can put it in here and pack it out. And so definitely the blue avocado rezip bags and the bumpkins are awesome for hiking snacks. And I use them all the time, both hiking and at home. So they get a ton of use and they're really worth the money especially if you're trying to reduce your plastic consumption. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post tons of hiking, camping, and backpacking videos. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.